I'm being honest here. I struggled to read my Bible. Didn't have an intro, now I got one. It's your boy, TJ London, and I'm back with another video for the Afro Sheen guy. Let's roll the intro. Please subscribe. Please. Please. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing well, thank you. Now, before we get into it, you're probably wondering why in the world are you wearing sunglasses whilst you're inside? Well, simply because the ring light is too bright for my eyes and because I sit very close to it. I don't want to be blinding myself free willingly. I decided to just put these on so... Because obviously with these on, it's not blinding my eyes, so... Anyway, why am I explaining this to you guys? A lot of you have probably seen that I've been gone for like a minute. And to be fair, I've had a bit of free time to be recording. Um, there were a lot of stuff that I was planning to do, but I just didn't do them. And that's mainly because I've been feeling down and stuff like that. But we move, we got up, it's another day. Thankful for another day, grateful of course. But um, um, this this does link into what I'll be talking about today in, to, in this video. And it's hard to get close to God. But really and truly, um, I know a lot of people that are genuinely trying to get close to God. And when I say not a lot of people, I'm not talking about people I know personally. I just know there's a lot of people out there that want a genuine connection with God. But they are finding it hard to get to that point where they want to be, or they're finding it hard to let go of the thing in the world that's holding them back. I just want to encourage you today. Feel free to stick around and see what I have to say and hopefully you'll feel blessed and encouraged after you leave this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment down below and thank you for those that have been subscribing. I've been noticing that we've been getting a few subscribers as the days go by. I do thank those that have stopped by and left to sub. Really do appreciate it. God bless you all. Back on what I was saying about me not feeling myself. I'll be real with you guys. I do struggle to read my Bible. Like, I'm being honest here. I struggle to read my Bible day in and day out. It's not easy, especially when you're working full time and you've got a lot of stuff going on. But then again, it does sound like excuses and there really shouldn't be any excuses when it comes to God. But one thing I will always make sure I do is pray. And even if I don't pray in the morning, because let's be real, sometimes I get up and the first thing I grab is my phone, which is wrong. First thing we should do is say thank you, Lord, for another day. Because what we forget, and not even coming from a Christian perspective, what we forget as human beings is that a lot of people that wake up to see another day. Some people pass in their sleep. Some people pass before they even see another day. And the fact that we wake up and see another day, we should be thankful for that, first and foremost. And that is one way for you to even get close to God. Just being grateful for all the things he has done. And one of those things is just thanking him for waking you up in the morning. Talking to him regularly. Stuff like that will keep you posted, keep you up to date, keep you in a relationship with God so you can just continue to talk to him and not feel like you're being delusional. When you reach certain achievements that you've been wanting to get to, when you get to a point where you never thought you'd get to, in terms of how your success is going, just say thank you, Jesus. Just say thank you. You know, doing those little things are little steps into getting you closer to God. And to those of you that have just started this journey or you just feel like you don't know where to start, once again, those are things that can really kickstart your journey and get you to where you need to be. Because I will always say this, it took me about seven years to finally get serious with God. Because I got baptised in... I said seven years. Sorry. It took me five years to get serious with God. I got baptised in 2017. Um, and I only started getting serious with God in... 2022 early 2022 mid 2022 that was the only time i started to get serious because i was very lukewarm i was doing a lot of things in the world because i feel like not a lot of people talk about that transition that you make from getting baptized or let me even rephrase that that transition from getting saved to then being baptized and then getting even more close to the god like it's it's very hard and no one talks about it but um that's not to discourage you or anything, because what 
we don't understand is that the minute we want to serve God fully, the enemy uses that as a way to try and throw you off. And sometimes even God will test you to see if you will fall back into the world or continue to stay strong for him. And that's what he wants to see. Because once you pass that test or whatever, you pass those tribulations, you will face even more things that will challenge you in life. And with that being said, it's not a thing to scare you once again, but it's just the way that this works. Because what we don't understand is that, like, look at our world today. Let's be real. Look at the world today. Look at what's happening around us. We see what's going on. It's not easy to get by in this world. We've got cost of living crisis, left, right and centre. People can't even get by just by the paycheck that they get every month. It's hard for people nowadays. But the only way we can get through nowadays is by the strength of God. And you're going to need that, especially in 2024. And when you go through so much challenges and go through all those experiences where you feel like, wow, like, I would have never gotten through that if it wasn't for God. All this doing is making you stronger, right? And there's this song that says, what does it kill you makes you stronger. Now, obviously it's a secular song, so I'm not going to sing it or play it, but those words are literally what it says in itself. If it hasn't killed you, all this doing is making you stronger. And that's what we need to live by. That's what we need to remember. I'm just going to turn to a couple of scriptures just to give you lot an insight on what I'm really delving into. I'm just going to turn my Bible to Proverbs. I'm going to go to Proverbs 15 verse 1. So if you've got a Bible or if you've got your Bible app, feel free to join me. Um, I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. That's one thing that I forgot to say in the last video, which I do apologise for. And it says, a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Now, that, that, that scripture may seem a bit off topic to what I'm talking about, but actually, let me go ahead and highlight it now that I'm here. But what does that specifically mean? Now, what we... What I said a while ago about some of you, or so, about some people struggling to leave things of the world behind to make that full commitment to God, um, we always tend to think about all the worst things like drinking, partying, alcohol, fornication, but we forget to talk about our emotions and things that stir up our emotions. And one of those things can be things like anger, Right, and it says here, a soft answer turns away rough, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Now, a lot of Christians struggle with anger, but then again, we are human beings at the end of the day. Of course, we're going to get angry. Even Jesus got angry at one. But what this verse is saying, in certain situations, what ways in, like, once again, coming back to the whole topic of how to get closer to God, another way in which you can get closer to God is changing the way you do things to other people especially if somebody is literally trying to stir your anger up or trying to get you annoyed or somebody's just i don't know getting on your nerves as it says in the word a soft answer turns away wrath and we all know what wrath is destruction the worst thing that could happen anything right and it's saying a soft answer would turn that away. So you settling down and just being as calm as possible just turns it away. All that's doing is making the other person even more mad to a point where eventually they'll be like, do you know what, why even bother? I'm not even going to get them angry at this point. She's too soft. He's too soft now. But then it also says, but a harsh word says of anger. If you reply in a way that you would usually reply and you know isn't right, then that's just going to stir up even more of an argument. And it's not needed, especially in today's world. And that's one way of getting close to God, by abiding by his word. And following this verse in Proverbs 15, verse 1, where it says, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Following that, that's, that's simply abiding by his word. And that's another way of getting closer with him. And these are the little things that allow us to get close to God without even realising and not even to those that have just started within their faith with Christ. I'm talking to those that are deep into the faith because people tend to miss these little scriptures that are in the Bible. 
People always love to talk about the big scriptures, all these scriptures about man should not live by bread alone, he, they that wait upon the Lord. Everyone wants to talk about those scriptures, which there's nothing wrong with. But it's these little scriptures that really allow us to get by in our day-to-day -day life and what no one really talks about. But I encourage you to read Proverbs 15 verse 1 if you haven't read it yet. And you know what? Let's go into the next verse in verse 2. Proverbs 15 verse 2 in the King James Version again. Where it says, The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of the fools pours forth foolishness. Now, it's a bit of a mouthful, that one. But that simply says, if you use your tongue in the right way, so if you use your words in the correct way, talk to people with respect and things like that, you'll use your knowledge rightly. So everything that you've learned, everything that you know of, you will do it in a correct way because you have decided to do things in a way of respect and not, even, and not in a way that could disrespect somebody. And then it says, but the mouth of fools pours forth foolishness. And that simply says, if you're, if you're being the typical average human being that just wants to be rude and disrespect everybody, whereas, like most people today, only foolishness is going to come out of your mouth. But hey, these are the words of God, don't get mad at me. <laughs> but these are the words of God. And once again, if you abide by these words in the Bible, that is one step to getting close to God each and every day. Imagine if you do this every day, just read one of these verses every day. That is one step to you getting close. And people always like to overcomplicate to a point where you may feel like you're not doing enough. You may feel like you can't get by Doing these things each and every day is one step to you getting close to God. And trust me, you won't regret it in the long run. Because I heard someone say that, um, I was on TikTok a while ago, and I heard someone say, I'm not going to hell for anybody. And it's true. I'm not going to go to hell for anybody. So by that, I'm going to abide by the word. Because there's a verse that says, if you abide in me, I abide in you. And that's literally what happens like it's in the scripture as i just said if you abide by his word you'll get close to him and as the scripture says if you abide in me i abide in you and it's that simple people always try to overcomplicate and say these big things and then make you feel bad but no just read these little verses day in day out and trust me you will start to get somewhere but I'm just going to leave that with you guys for this video and I hope you're able to take something from that. This video has encouraged me also. I do think I'm going to continue reading the rest of this verse to just really settle down in my mind a bit. But um, I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't know when it will be, but feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, share these videos, telephone to telephone, and I'll catch you guys later. Stay safe and God bless you all. Peace.